Hello subscribers and friends of our YouTube channel called If This Car Could Talk. Today is episode number 103 and it's a special one. How special is a rare 1970 Mercury Cyclone spoiler that's recently been named as a final runner-up for the Good Guys Muscle Car of the Year Award. It was the recipient of a concourse restoration and may very well be the finest example of its kind. We'll let owner Charlie Lillard give you all of the details on his gorgeous muscle Mercury. We're sure you'll agree that this car is very cool. Now let's go for a ride. I'm Charlie Lillard. We're talking about my 70 Mercury Cyclone spoiler. Uh, it's all restored. Restored by Randy Archer in Phoenix, Arizona. He also did my 66 Bonneville black one. Uh, it's competition blue, white bucket seat interior, white vinyl top, kind of sets it apart from most of them. You don't see that combination very often. 429 Super Cobra Jet, 390 gears. Uh, I bought it originally, somebody pointed it out to me on a website at a collector car dealer in Southern California, advertised as a great survivor, like a 50,000 mile car. I bought it without going to look at it. Smart guy that I am. It might be 50,000 miles, but it had a lot of work done to it. It had been repainted. They thought it was a mostly original paint, but it had been all repainted and it had some patch panels in it and stuff. But drivetrain was all still there. Great documentation, great paperwork. I managed to track down the original owner based on the paperwork out of Price, Utah, he ordered it. Now he's moved to Nevada. I've sent him pictures since it's got all restored. He's all excited. Um, I don't know, it's just a nice, nice car. That, a lot of NOS parts. I found NOS trim rings, NOS center caps. Did not have the original correct steel wheels on it. I found a set of those. Got the original spare tire in it, and coincidentally, when Coker came out with the new reproduction radials for these, the tread, the design looks just like the spare. So, pretty impressed with it. that new reproduction radial tire. It matches my original spare. One of the most desirable cars for collectors in today's muscle car market is the Cyclone Spoiler. Our feature car is a breathtaking example of this model and is equipped with many extra cost options. Standard equipment for this model, designated 65G, includes a 370 horse 429 Cobra Jet engine with a functional Ram Air assembly atop a Rochester 715 CFM carburetor. A hearse shifted four speed top loader sends the power to a 350 geared traction lock nine inch rear axle. Naturally, these cars were equipped with a competition suspension using G7014 raised white letter tires as well. Its name is Spoiler, so as you'd expect, all business front and rear spoilers adorn this aggressive looking Mercury. There were only five color choices, all the bright competition colors for these cars. Ford called the same colors Grabber in their line. Buyers could get blue, gold, green, orange, and yellow. Inside, standard equipment was a Rimblow steering wheel, high back bucket seats, and the instrumentation group, which included a 140 mile an hour speedometer, an 8,000 RPM tachometer, an engine temperature, oil pressure, and ammeter gauges all integrated in the passenger side of the dash pad angled to face the driver. A mere 1,631 spoilers were sold in 1970. Our feature car is also equipped with the drag pack option, which makes it a Super Cobra Jet. Air conditioning was not available with this package. The SCJ got a 780 CFM Holly Carb, heavier duty engine internals, a solid lifter camshaft, an exterior engine oil cooler, and a rear axle with a 391 gear and a 31 spline traction lock unit. 
The Super Drag Pack car has got all of the same upgrades, but an even steeper 430 gear with a Detroit locker. The original buyer also opted for a console, a clock, courtesy lights, an AM radio, dual rear speakers, tinted glass, power brakes with discs in the front and drums in the rear, hidden headlamps, styled wheels, and a vinyl top. To really appreciate this Mercury supercar, it must be seen in person. It is beyond description what feelings come over you when you see every detail of this amazing restoration. It was recently selected by the Good Guys Hot Rod Association as a Muscle Car of the Year runner-up. We'll see if it can best all of its competitors at the final show they host this November. The car is a Good Guys Muscle Car of the Year finalist. I won't know if it wins it wins the award till like October is when they notify whoever won it. I think there's probably 10 finalists from around the country. And it's either going to be here for that or probably at Macaca, which is Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals that we put on every November in Chicago, except for this last year because of COVID. And we started that probably 11, 12 years ago with Bob Ashton as our managing partner. There's a few of us car guys that got together back then and thought Bob could do better than Betfest. And everybody was getting tired of just looking at Betfest cars. So now we've managed to turn it into that. I think the premier muscle car show in the world because everybody makes an effort. They know what we're about. We want the best of the best there. So they will restore a car with the goal of getting it to McCacken, um, getting it judged at McCacken. So more cars I think are getting restored because of our show. And the restoration shops that are restoring some of these cars for some of the owners, they want everybody to see their work also. And so we get people from all over the world that fly in. We'll focus on one year we focused on ZL1 Camaros. I had 19. 1969 ZL1 Camaros there. Another year we did Hemi Cuda and Hemi Challenger convertibles. We had, I think, 27 there? There was only like 40 something made, so we had, I mean, it was, there'd never been that many in one spot ever. It's like, there's always, we're always doing, we're gonna do a Mercury display this year. We're doing class of 70, class of 71, Missed class of 70 last year because of COVID. We'll combine some stuff this year. Go to mcacn.com. You can sign up for a free newsletter. See, we told you guys that you'd love this Cyclone Spoiler. It's got all of the most desirable options that muscle car people want, and it stops enthusiasts wherever it goes. Thanks to owner Charlie Lillard for his time and for sharing his awesome car with our YouTube subscribers and friends. What do you guys think of it? Please leave a comment and be sure to like the video and share it with your friends. Join us this coming Thursday for a special feature on the history of the Mercury Comet Cyclone. Interesting stuff indeed. See you then and remember, please be careful out there.